Welcome tech students. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my class expectations. What do I expect from you? So before we start, remember that you can always contact me through my email, which is there, mariana.estrada at cat.mx. I'm going to be in front of the computer most of the morning. If not, there, I have my cell phone. My cell phone gives me the notification that I got an email. So, and I'm going to try to answer it as fast as I can. <laughs> Before we continue with my expectations, I just want you to remember one little thing, okay? It says, be strong because things will get better. It may be stormy now, but it never rains forever. I don't know who wrote this, uh, but I feel that this is just a way for us to have hope it will be getting better. Important information that you need to know, okay? There are two main things. One thing is my expectations of your work. I'm going to be posting this work and videos and practices. All, everything that you need is going to be in your Google Classroom. It's going to say your grade and section, and then it will say computer class. That way you can easily identify it. So make sure you check it. I will be posting videos there on Monday and Wednesdays. So um, probably in between, but if I post videos in between, it's just going to be general tips or so. Uh, the second thing that I want you to know is I'm going to be offering uh, office hours on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm going to be online using Google Meets from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I will be adding the links and sending the invitations in your calendar and in your email. Okay, so check those as well. What are my expectations? What do I expect from you? So the first thing that I'm uh, want you to do is to find a quiet place where you can sit up and listen. So stay away from noises. If you need headphones, use headphones. Those are really helpful to you to understand what your teachers are going to be instructing. Uh, my second advice will be to bring a pen and paper to take notes, if not for my class, for the other classes as well. Be fully present, aka stay away from distractions. Turn off the computer, um, sorry, not the computer, <laughs> you need the computers. Uh, stay away from televisions, radios, music, cell phones. Put them away because you need to be present in what we are trying to teach you through uh, our videos. Um, also, assume positive intentions. I know this is hard work. You are going to be stressed a little bit because of the amount of videos and information that you're going to be getting at once. Just breathe and say, I can do it, okay? Because we can do it. Um, also, I want you to be accountable, which means be responsible for your work. If I'm assigning you a Google Doc about, I don't know, your week, like make me, how's your week going? So I, I want you to do that work and send it to me. Um, also complete your work in a timely manner, uh, which means don't leave things to the very last moment. I know that you are home and it's really easy to forget about school, but what is going to happen is yes, you're going to be getting lots of videos and classwork from your teachers, from all of your teachers. So grab an agenda, write down everything that you need to do. All of them is going to be in your calendar, but still, if you can have like a routine set at home where you can um, organize your time, that will be wonderful. And the most important thing, ask your questions. If you do not understand something and you need extra help, send me an email 
I'll answer it as fast as I can. I promise that uh, what you can expect from me, I'm going to be fully in front of uh, not the computer or cell phone, checking emails as they come. And I will try to answer the questions through email or if you still confused, we can do a Google Meet. I can get online, you can get online and we can ask questions, share ideas, okay? Um, so how is our class routine going to work? How am I going to be presenting the videos and what are you going to be doing? Okay, there are three main things in my routine. Okay, the first thing it will just, I'm wanting you to watch the videos. In those videos, I'm going to guide you through the steps in order for you to make the practice. So it's as class, it's just imagine that I'm in the class, I'm going to be, okay, click on file, click on new, create on, change the title to that size, change the font, stuff like I've been doing in the classroom, I'm just going to do them right now on videos, okay? Um, you can pause it, rewind it as many times as you need. So that way you can make sure you're actually understanding what you need to do, okay? Uh, the second thing that you need to do is do your practice. So if I'm asking you to create, as again, a diary of how your week is going, please do so, okay? You are expected to work independently as possible. We'll be using the Google Suite or uh, either Docs, PowerPoint, or spreadsheets. I know that all of us have access to those tools at home. So that way we don't get confused or worry about not having a program. And the third thing that is really super important, please do so, uh, submit your work. Uh, so you will have to upload it in classroom so I can grade it and I can have an evidence that you are working at home. Okay, so three things, watch videos, do your practice, submit your work. That's all you need to do at least for computer class. A small advice from me to you, check your calendar often in there you will have, you will find all your assignments from all of your teachers. That way you can keep track of what you need to do. Again, if you um, leave it open, I'm going to show you in another video how you can access to your calendar so you can keep track on what you need to do, okay? So you can get organized and everything. Believe me, the key from this is organization. There's no way around it. So thank you very much. If you still have questions, just email me. There's the email on my screen. Uh, I will remind you, mariana.estrada at cat.mx. If you want to talk to your parents about this as well, uh, please do so. If they have questions, they can also send me an email. So miss you so much. See you.